Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Mr. Rodinator here with another weapon review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing my favorite LMG, and that is the MG15NA. And I like the suppressive model because it's got a scope on it as well as a bipod for longer range encounters. Uh, you can choose cross vertical, Chevton vertical beam vertical or the post vertical i prefer the cross vertical it it's just my favorite uh it's all personal preference so in these modifications like the zoom i prefer two and a half but you can also have two times zoom three times zoom or three and a half is all what you prefer though when it comes to magnification i like 2.5 because i can still take on my targets at a longer range and still kind of use it in closer ranges. Uh, you can also change your recoil direction, left, right, or centered. I prefer using centered, but again, that's all up to you. Damage on this gun is pretty good. Um, it does have a low rate of fire though. It's not really that accurate unless you have your bipod down. Hip fire is garbage in my opinion. I can't seem to do very well with the hip fire with this gun at all like I can with any other gun basically any other gun hip fire is better in this it seems like besides sniper rifles uh, fire rate 500 you can only shoot it in automatic fire you get two full clips at 200 equaling 200 rounds or 400 rounds sorry um damage drop off ain't that bad you can also choose the storm or low weight models they are they're all right uh it's just we prefer them uh reload on this gun is considerably slower than some of the other guns you might use but that's all right considering how slow it shoots and how hard it hits you ain't really gotta worry about reloading because you have half your ammo already in your clip um like as you can see here Taking all my targets at a longer range, a lot better than I was at a closer range. It's just not made for close range. It's a medium to long range gun, guys. Like right here, you can see just how bad the hip fire really is. I've aimed to get the kill, and even then, I had a hard time hitting him because he was so close. Uh, putting the bipod down, though, your gun does not move, and you can just sit there and peg dudes. Halfway across the map, no problem. As long as you aim right and get multiple hits on your target, keep it suppressed, uh, you will do just fine. Um, however, you cannot let this gun overheat, otherwise, you'll have to take a second to cock it. And a lot of times, if you're in a stressful situation, that will get you killed. Um, I don't recommend using this on modes such as TDM or war pigeons. Use it more on say conquest or operations. Um I I don't know, rush it's alright, but it's like not the best choice. But it's all up to you and how you play the game. This is just my favorite LMG. Um just remember stay at a little bit of range when you're using this gun because close up it's not that effective. Um other than that, there's not really much to say, uh, it's a pretty good gun, I recommend you try it. If you do, however, use it for TDM playing right here, it'd be a good idea to kind of take the longer routes around, and not just rushing straight up with your team, kind of stray off, you'll do a lot better that way. Um, close quarters though, you will not, I can understand you will not be good at all. You will die repetitively and get like no kills unless you get very very lucky well that about wraps it up for this uh, weapons review um don't forget to like and or subscribe if you haven't already it really helped me out mr Rodinator, out